Apple revamped the Safari web browser with the release of OS X Yosemite. Safari 8.0 brings a flat look and new features along with a boost to both speed and performance. To help you better manage open tabs, Safari now has an option to display them in a thumbnail view. This can be toggled by clicking the Show All Tabs button to the right of the address bar. Each page you currently have opened will have its own smaller version displayed within the browser window. If you have multiple pages from the same site opened, they'll be grouped together. You can quickly change between tabs by clicking on its preview icon or close a tab by clicking on the X icon in the upper left corner. Apple also improved the sidebar view in the new version of Safari by adding an RSS reader to it. At any time when viewing a web page, you can click on the share button, which is also located to the right of the address bar, and select add website to shared links to subscribe to the site's respective RSS feed. Keep in mind though that the option to add the sites will only be present if a valid RSS feed is found. Click on the show sidebar button at the left of the address bar and tap the at symbol to view and manage your subscriptions. One of the features I really like is the improved address bar. You can go to a website directly, perform a web search, or quickly jump to suggested results from Wikipedia or Apple's App Store. For example, if I type in Clash of Clans, I get an option to go right to Wikipedia. If I add the word app, I can go right to the App Store. And the last thing Apple changed was the favorites. No longer are favorite sites displayed directly below the address bar. Instead, you have to click on the address bar before starting to type and a list of thumbnails of your favorites will appear. Simply click on the thumbnail and visit the site. To bring back the old view, click on View and select Show Favorites Bar. For more tips and tricks like these, be sure to check out howto.cnet.com. You can also reach out to me on Twitter with any questions or comments. I'm Dan Graziar for CNET. Thanks for watching.